Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Do you know that in the Bible there's a dress code? Did you, there's a dress code for women and there's a dress code for men. Now I'm going to bring the dress code for women to you, okay? Because I'm talking to a sister. And we love you, sis. We want you to fall in line with God's will. We want you to get the kingdom, sis. But until, until we keep breaking, if we keep breaking God's laws, guess what? We will not get the kingdom. So we here, you standing here today is very important, even not only for you, but for the people you so-called love. That's your family. So I'm going to say something in the Bible concerning the women's dress code. Read this. Watch this. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. Do you know, sisters, the sisters, our sisters do not supposed to wear pants. Have you ever been told that in the Christian church? You've been told that? And so, read, read. The woman shall not wear that which pertained unto a man. Say that again. The woman shall not wear that which pertain unto a man. So the Bible says, says that our sisters, the so-called black women, Hispanic women, do not supposed to wear that which pertains to a man. What Bring pertains to a man, sis? Okay, do it. Does that mean just on Sundays or every day? Read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertain unto a man. That's point blank right there, sis. He didn't give no specific day. He didn't give no specific hour. He said the woman what? Shall not wear that which pertain unto a man. So we're going to give you out here what the Bible says, sis. We're not going to go out and come out here and sugarcoat and give you a way to sin. You understand what I'm saying? We're going to give it to you straight according to the Bible. So the Bible says what? The woman shall not wear that which pertain unto a man. So the Bible says, says, that a woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. And we know that's concerning what, says? Say it. Well, I'm going to say it for you, sis. Pants. A sister do not suppose to wear pants. Yes, period. Right. Now listen, 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 listen. Let me finish the scripture. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So now just to let you know, we're not out here turning women bash. It also gives it uh, telling us what a man should not wear. Read that again. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Let me ask you a question, sis. Haven't you noticed that there's a fashion coming up, rising up, saying it's okay for men to wear dresses? Haven't you seen fashionable advertisements showing mainly our black men wearing dresses? Bring it up! Would you agree with that? No, we're not talking about garments. We're not talking about garments. We're talking about dresses, sis. That's apparel. Those skirts when they went out to war, they used to wear the That's true. That's true. We, 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 we'll talk about that. That's war apparel. That's true. You see what we, us men have on right now are called garments. These are not dresses. These are garments. These are not dresses, sis. That's right. I got to go. Answer my question, though. Now, my concern was I didn't have no dress a long time ago go to church. That's why I didn't go. Okay. I didn't have no dress. Okay. But I had one to turn, change my life. Okay. That she was God, but since I didn't, dress, I didn't go to church. So I'm 
All praise. Well, let me tell you something. It's a good thing that you didn't go to church because you'd been fed more lies. Right. You understand what I'm saying? It's a good and that and that, and that what you just said further further confirms why it's important that you came here. Why the most high sent you here. So you can get the up. right understanding about the Bible. Right. So now the most high he knows your mind. He knows your thoughts. Right? He understands your condition. He understands your situation. Or about your money being tight. All that's been prophesied. But now you can make a change. Once you start keeping God's law, give me that Joshua uh, 1 8. Give me that Joshua 1 8. I'm going to show you what's going to happen once you start keeping the Most High's laws. I'm going to show you what's going to happen. Bring it out. You see? And then you have the resources to get you not only a dress, but many dresses. Once you start keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments. That's right. You understand what I'm saying, sis? Bring it so up. he understands you. So don't, don't, be, don't beat up on yourself so bad. But, but thank God that you're here. And thank God that you took time to sit down and even listen to us. All praise him for that. You got it? You got it? So, all right, watch this. Read that. This is the book of Joshua, chapter 1 and verse 8. Read. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. You see that? He's saying this book of the law. That, that just crushed all that thing they teach you in Christianity. But just have faith in Jesus Christ because the law has been done away with. Bring it out. Read that again. Verse 8, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate. You hear that? You hear that, sis? Meditate on God's word day and night. Read. Therein day and night, uh -huh. that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written. You see that sense? It goes right back into the law again. It goes right back into saying we, got, we must keep God's laws, statutes, and commandments. It ain't going to deviate from that, sis. Now listen, it's not going to deviate from that. I'm going to show you what's going to happen. Once you start keeping God's laws, statutes, and commandments, watch this. Read. Written therein, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. Say it again. Prosperous. And then thou shalt have good success. Now go back to prosper. Read that, 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 that verse, the line again. You see that? So once you start keeping God's laws, statutes, and commandments, meditating on his word day and night, he says he'll make your way prosperous. That's right. Now that don't mean you may be rich or hit the lottery, or he, yeah. but, he, but the most high know what you need, sis. Now, Bring it out. Teacher. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, what about Bring you said that? Bring it out. You're not, uh, the mouth. Hold on, let me finish this scripture up. Let me finish this up. Because I'm on that soldier. All right, finish up. And then thou shalt have good you hear that, sis? You hear that? It says if you keep God's laws, his statutes, and commandments, you will be prosperous and you will have good success. That's right. That's the most high God saying that, sis. Not me. That's the Bible. Right. right. He said meditate on his word day and night. Keep his laws, statutes, and commandments. Right. And he said he'll make your way prosperous and you'll have good success. That's right. You understand what I'm saying, sis? Read that again. <laughs> Shall make thy way prosperous, and thou shall have good success. Read. That it? Yeah, that's it. You see what I'm saying, sis? Okay, what's meditate day and night? What is that? Meditate meaning you you you, you constantly have the scriptures on your mind. You are studying. You are keeping the scriptures on your mind. When you have idle time, you're thinking about the scriptures. You're thinking about the verse you read just a little while ago. Right. You understand what I'm saying? You're going back to your Bible, remembering what you read last night or day before. Right. In other words, whatever you're thinking right now before you walked up to this camp right here. Don't, that's things of the world. You might have been thinking about your bills. You might have been thinking about your kids. You, well, well, okay, I hear you, sis. And I, again, we appreciate you giving, giving us your time. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.